Hi all and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I am going to show you how to crochet these beautiful cord coasters. For today's coasters I will be using this 3mm macrame cord and you can use any cord you like. So I will be using this leftover cord from my handbag and I'll be using these two colors. Of course, you can use any color you like or prefer. You will need a pair of scissors. I'll be using five millimeters hook and also I'll be using three millimeters hook. You will need a stitch marker as well. And we are going to start with a magic ring. Hold your yarn and like so. Wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook and go back under this one here and pull through the loop like so. And this is your magic ring. So for the round one, we are going to place eight single crochet inside this magic ring to do so insert your hook inside the ring yarn over bring it up yarn over and pull through like this and this is your first single crochet now we are going to place a stitch marker here so we know this is our first oops this is our first single crochet here so we need seven more two three four five Six, seven, and eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight single crochet in a magic ring. Now we are going to pull this yarn and like so as much as you can. We are going to take our stitch marker out. But before we do so, we are not going to slip stitch to close our ring. We are going to work two single crochet into this back loop of our first single crochet. Okay, so now we can take our stitch marker out and we are going to place two single crochet but only in the back loop. Okay, so this is my first one, one, and now you can place your stitch marker and we are going to place one more into the same place, like this. So we have two single crochet and that's what we are going to do in every stitch around, but remember, only into the back loops so we will place two single crochet two single crochet two 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 all the way around until you come here and then i show you what to do next okay this is my last one here so i will place one and two Okay, so in this round two, we have two single crochet in every stitch around back loop only. Okay, so now we are ready for round three. For round three, we are going to place one single crochet, two into the next one, one and then two, one, two, one, two. Okay. So let's just take this stitch marker out and into this very first one you will place only one single crochet. Okay, 
Now replace your stitch marker. So you know this is your start. And into the next one, you will place two single crochet. One and two. Into the next stitch, only one. Into the next stitch, two single crochet. One and two. To the next one, only one. Into the next one, two single crochet. So when we're placing two single crochet, we can also call it increase, okay? So into the next one, one single crochet. Into the next one, increase. So two single crochet in one stitch. And so on all the way around until you come to your first stitch right here. And then I show you what to do next. And this is the end of the round three. To start round four, you will work one single crochet in the next two stitches. So you will have one single crochet, one single crochet. And then into the third one, you will do increase. And again, you will do one single crochet, one single crochet, increase. One single crochet, one single crochet, increase, and so on. So let's start around four. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. And I will place one single crochet here and replace my oopsie daisy and replace my stitch marker like so. So I will have one single crochet, then one more into the next stitch, and then I will do my increase. So it means two single crochet, like so. And that's what you are going to repeat for round four. So one single crochet, one single crochet, and increase. Two single crochet into the same stitch, okay? And again, one single crochet, one single crochet, and increase. And so on until you come to your last stitch here. So I have one single crochet, one single crochet, and the last one will be my increase one and two. Okay, and this is the end of the round four. And for the last round, round five. We will do one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet. So you will have three single crochet in the next three stitches. And then you will do your increase. And again, one, 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 increase. One, 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 increase. And so on. Okay. So into this very first one, my first single crochet don't forget to replace your stitch marker so this is my first one two and three and into the next one we are going to do increase so two single crochet into the same stitch and again one, two, three, and increase. One and two. To the next one, one, two, and three, and increase. Okay, so continue all the way around, placing three single crochet in the next three stitches and then increase and so on. Okay, so I have my increase here and I will do one, two, 
today and I am supposed to place my last increase here but I am not going to do so I will place one slip stitch here like this and then I will take my stitch marker out and I will place two more so I will have three slip stitches so into the next one do slip stitch and into the next one do slip stitch like this and this will close our coaster like this okay but if you want to create the placemat for example you would just add the rounds for example in this round five we finished we placed three single crochet increase so for the next round round six you would place four single crochet increase so on until you get the size you want so you can create the placemats in the same way and then you would just close it like this with three slip stitches like i just did okay so this is the end and this was my last slip stitch here i'm going to chain one and fasten off and leave it a little bit longer like this and fasten off my coaster is about four and a half inch or ten and a half centimeters but you can make it as big as you like and now we are going to take our smaller hook so for this next step i am going to bring my three millimeters hook and i am going to insert it like so and i will try to hide this end so i just go this way so you can see better wrap it around your hook and pull through like this i hope you can see let's just do it again so just insert my hook from the back this is the back side into this very first stitch wrap the yarn around your hook and pull through like this you can do it with your fingers and i'm going to hide it all the way here so simply just into the next stitch and bring it through into the next stitch from this side now up to the next stitch like this so it will blend in nicely as you can see so you will hide it all the way here okay and now you can go back okay so once you got your cord hidden inside you can just cut it off and leave this one for now you can still pull a little bit so for the next step i am going to bring my yellow cord and of course you can use any color you like or prefer i'm using my leftovers from my bag and now we are going to create a knot like this as close as possible like so and i am on the wrong side of my coaster okay so just create a little knot like this at the bottom and now we are going to look where is the start so as you can see we started here and then we went like so okay in the spiral all the way 
around. So I will insert my hook like this. And now we will work surface crochet. Okay, so insert your hook like this. You will bring your cord from the bottom like so. You will yarn over like this and you will pull it through like so. So you will have this loop on top. Now you will go into the next here. So you will see these gaps around and we will be working into those gaps. Okay, so I will work into my next one. From the bottom you will yarn over like this, pull through like so and you will pull through the loop like this and this is your very first stitch okay into the next gap as you can see you will see these gaps all the way around and we will follow these stitches right here okay so into the next one insert your hook it's still with this loop on as you can see here okay insert yarn over so that's my cord yarn over and pull through bring it up and pull through the loop you had on your hook like so and we have two lovely stitches into the next one yarn over bring the loop up and make sure it's not too tight and pull through the loop you had on your hook okay and that's what we are going to do all the way around like so and we will follow these stitches and we will create a lovely spiral and we'll fill these little gaps with this yellow cord okay so i'll show you one more time into the next gap or space yarn over bring the loop up like this and pull through the loop you had on your hook okay into the next one yarn over pull through and pull through the loop you had on your hook it's super easy and it's very very beautiful okay so into the next so my next one will be right here because i want to create a spiral so the next one will be in this round two again And see yarn over like so into the next one yarn over like so yarn over pull through and pull through the loop you had on your hook and so on simply just follow these little gaps all the way around like this And make sure the stitches are not too tight and they will look amazing so you will continue all the way around this way
Okay, so I am at the end nearly and I have just few stitches left. As you can see, I have nowhere to go now. And you can maybe squeeze one more, let's see. And I squeezed one more. So you can see here, these are my slip stitches. So I will just finish here. And I will simply just, I place my last one here and I will simply just chain one like this. And cut your cord. And finish like so and now you will take your smaller hook and hide it somewhere inside okay or you can hide it here but just want to go under this yellow one so just hide it like so a few more Hide the inside here. You can go this way. And then maybe down here. So we just want to blend it in. You can finish somewhere here and hide this end. At the bottom and now you can put it off And we are going to hide these as well somewhere here. Okay. Perfect. And do exactly the same with the red one. Just try to hide it under the red ones. So it's lovely. Let's just stretch it a little bit. Give it a nice stretch. Beautiful and very easy coasters. Of course, you can mix the colors. You can make them as big as you like. And they are super cool. Place them cut like this <laughs> and I think they look very very cute and you if they get dirty you will simply just wash it in the washing machine depend on what cord you're using so always follow the instructions on the label how to wash it this is our beautiful cord coaster i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs for more ideas from me sylvia and of course don't forget to hit that notification button so every time i upload a new video you will get notification to watch it thank you very much for watching